Hi Leo, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It is an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share and hit that subscribe button if you should so choose. Uh, if you are already a continued sub, thank you so much for all of your support. You know I truly, truly appreciate it. Uh, with that said, if you would like to book a personal tarot reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And if you, uh, before we start, as always, I would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you or should I say us on our paths to our highest vibrational good. So my ascendant brothers and sisters let's take a look see what are we removing, releasing or letting go of from our life path this week? What are we removing, releasing or letting go of from our life path this week? And this week we get We've got the Hierophant, right? So the Hierophant is actually about uh, making things official, but it's also about your power and your commitment. So when you're letting go of the Hierophant, what does this mean? It basically means that you are letting go of an old structure or an old paradigm. I kind of feel like this is gonna be a big, week of a big week of shifts for everybody, but the fact that you're letting go of the Hierophant means some old status quo or way of doing things. It could be a relationship, it could be a work situation, it could be study, it can be professional, uh, you know, relationships especially, but in some way, shape or form, something that you have done a specific way for a certain amount of time and probably for quite a long time, uh, you know, because the Hierophant rules the sign of Taurus and it also speaks about traditions. So these tend to be things that we've done for a long time or a paradigm that we have lived for a long time. The fact that we're letting this go this week means that there is a big shift on the horizon. Um, you know, <laughs> yeah, that's what I will say in terms of that. So what are we working on now? What are, uh, what's at the heart or at the meat of the matter, as I like to say? And this week we get the uh, Page of Wands, beautiful. So the Page of Wands is, uh, you know, effectively another new beginning. So something in our in our lives, in our world is breaking down. Some old structure is breaking down. Uranus into Taurus, right? You know, among all of the plethora of other transits that are taking place within the space of just these uh, seven days. So it will be interesting to see. Uh, page of Wands is what we're working on now. If you have projects that are unfinished, namely books, websites, blogs, all of that sort of stuff, you need to start putting the finishing touches on it this week. Obviously with the Mercury retrograde, uh, it's not the time to launch anything, but this week you really do need to start wrapping up loose ends. You need to make time and say to yourself from now on, every day I'm gonna put in 30 minutes until this project is finished. The reason I say that is because the Page of Wands is very often creative endeavors, and sometimes it can represent spontaneous travel, or um, and you know it can also represent, because the Pages and the um, Aces are very similar. They always bring some kind of new energy or message in for us. The message that I feel this one is giving us is there are things that need to be completed now. There are things that need to be wrapped up and actually I feel this for myself um, now that I start to think about it because there are a couple of things that I could, well not even could, there are a couple of things that I really should start to wrap up. So uh, yeah, this week if you are planning a trip if you have any you know, travel plans, if there are things like that, this is the week where you really need to start looking at them and finalizing them. Uh, you know, And especially for those of you that are writers, uh, performing artists especially, um, you know, even if you're in an academic sector or even in your professional sector, whatever project, work and um, yeah, projects work, all, you know, those kind of things that you have really do this week need your attention. You need to refocus yourself, rededicate yourself to your goal uh, and make sure that you have a plan in place to get yourself from where you are now to where you want to be, which is to see those projects come to light or to be, to or to be completed. 
So, what is your key to the week? As you can see, I've changed it up a little. We've got the death card. Transformation, there is a big shift or a big change coming this week, especially with uh, the letting go of card, because that's kind of like your structures are coming. You know, Uranus is going into Taurus, which is gonna shake your structures, and this is all to do with your career. If you are a Leo, Uranus is moving into your 10th house, especially if you're an ascendant Leo. So in some way, shape or form, there is a brand new paradigm coming to you. The death card is always about transformation or transition of some kind. The fact that it falls as the key to the week means that that's gonna be the buzzword for this week. You are going to have to roll with the punches. You're gonna have to be uh, open and ready to receive everything that comes at you. You're gonna have to be nimble on your feet. Unfortunately, even as a fixed sign, uh, you know, and I mean, I have my son in Aquarius and my ascendant in Leo, so I've got a lot of fixed energy. Um, change is coming, my dear Leos. Change is coming. This week, you will see things start to shift and start to change. And you know what? With that page of wands there, if you embrace it, if you really open yourself up and say, you know what? I'm going to see it as an adventure rather than, you know, the destruction of my life. It's not going to be like that. Uh, but there are definitely shifts and transitions coming. So get on board and buckle the frig up. I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have an amazing week. Let me know how it goes for you in the comments. Take care and I will see you very soon.